I think it's just another great lesson of, of handling adversity academically, athletically. Um, and, you know, the last two years we've been dealing with it from a, from a health crisis standpoint. The Omicron variant is hitting high school athletics hard with more than 800 games canceled this week alone. 800, my goodness. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with the Arizona Interscholastic Association's director about what this means for teams and the rest of the season. For high school student athletes, the game is everything, often a distraction from the noise and worries beyond the field or court. Teams have a shared focus, winning the game. But for the last two years, student athletes have faced the same opponent, one without a jersey or a team. Go. It did bring back some, some strange deja vu from last year when we told our guys that, oh, the season's delayed, then it was canceled, then it was brought back. Thursday, head men's basketball coach at Suaro High School, Lucas Ramirez, pausing until January 20th, all team-related activities due to elevated numbers of COVID-19 cases within the program. But you know, the thing is, is we're all dealing with it in some way. It's not just Suaro High School boys basketball. COVID-19 is raging across Arizona. ADHS reporting a single day record of more than 20,000 new cases today. This week alone, 822 high school sporting events were canceled. It is one of our highest cancellation week, and so we really feel bad for the kids. David Hines, executive director for Arizona's Interscholastic Association, says teams are following the health protocols set by the school districts themselves and understands some parents and students may be frustrated. Understanding, yes, I know you're frustrated. I know you want to play, but we are dealing with a situation that lives are at stake, so we got to do the best thing we can. Hines, along with Coach Ramirez, view this moment as a lesson not only for students, but everyone involved in the game called life. It's going to make you stronger in the end. You're going to understand adversity. Go. They have to adapt and adjust in the classroom, on the court, on the field. That's the one thing about the youth of today, they're resilient, especially the world that we've been living in the last you know, couple of years now. Josh Sanders, 12 News.